Life is meant to be healthy and enjoyable, but many people around the world are living under the bondage of sickness and diseases. Maybe you are one of these people who have been living under this bondage for some times now. Maybe you have seek all medical help but find no solution to your problem. Well the truth is, man have limits but with God, nothing is impossible with him. With God, he can heal any incurable disease. The question is, do you know it is God's greatest desire for you to live in divine health? God says in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. It was because of God's greatest desire for you to be in health, that's why he sent Jesus to die to carry your sickness and diseases. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness, by his wounds you have been healed. Friends, now we see it is God's greatest desire for us to be healed and healthy, and he has made a way for us through Jesus, and all we need is to have faith to receive what he already made available. You might ask, why do I need faith to receive? Friends, you have a physical eye which you see physical things, and it gives you the assurance that you can touch, feel and have them. Faith is the eye of the spirit. You can't see and feel you are being healed but faith gives you the assurance and conviction that what God says regarding your healing, it will come to pass and manifest physically in your body. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews 11 verse 6. And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. It is God's greatest desire to do us good by meeting our needs and wants, because he is our Father who created us, and want to take responsibility over our lives to make sure we are happy and enjoy life. And the only way he can fully satisfy his desire is when you have faith to freely receive from him what he has in store for you. That is why without faith it is impossible to please him. Imagine it's your birthday and your dad present you with a brand new dream car, but all the while, you sit there staring at it wishing it's yours. Then your dad kept telling you, it's yours, I bought it for you because I love you, please, take it. But all you do is continuing sitting there wishing the car is yours. How would your dad feel? Faith is not about wishing or doubting. It's about taking what has already been paid for you by Jesus, your healing, freedom, prosperity, and any other blessing. It's your free gifts, fully paid for, so why sit there wishing to have them? It's time to have the eyes of faith and grab hold of what is rightfully yours. If you are desperate for healing, don't just sit there waiting and hoping, go after it and take it. Let's look at the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 34. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet, instead of getting better she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered, and yet you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and, trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Friends, notice what Jesus said to her. He said your faith has healed you. The healing power was available there and her faith drew that healing power into her body and healed her. Friends, that same healing power is still available today. All you need is faith to receive it. Mark 9 verse 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. You might ask, how can I have faith? Romans 10 verse 17. So then faith comes be hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Friends, the word of God increase your faith for whatever you need. If you need healing, 
Find healing scriptures and start keeping them in your eyes, ears, meditate upon them, and speak them with your mouth. It will increase your faith for your healing and not long you'll be walking in divine health. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Psalm 107 verse 20 He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Friends, now you know that the word of God is powerful, and it can increase your faith to receive the free gift of healing Jesus have paid for. It's time to get daily dose of healing scriptures and be made whole in your body. Psalm 30 verse 2, Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. Jeremiah 30 to 17, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Isaiah 36 verse 16, you restored me to health and let me live. Isaiah 40 verse 29, He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might He increases strength. Psalm 147 verse 3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 3, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, Isaiah 58 verse 8, Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Jeremiah 30 verse 17, for I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord, because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion, for whom no one cares. Jeremiah 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Matthew 12 verse 15, But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Matthew 11 verse 5, The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Matthew 4 verses 23 to 24, Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom, and he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick. And whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed, or epileptic, or paralyzed, he healed them all. Matthew 8 verses 2 to 3, And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed, immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Friends, the same Jesus who heals yesterday, he still heals today. Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Malachi 3 verse 6, I the Lord do not change, so you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Matthew 8 verses 5 to 8 and 13, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, 
all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Psalm 34 verses 17 to 18, the righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 8, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Jeremiah 17 verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Exodus 23 verse 25. Worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Isaiah 57 verses 18 to 19. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. John 14 verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Isaiah 40 verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Psalm 107 verses 19 to 21. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Luke 13 verses 11 to 13. And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Mark 9 verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Psalm 41 verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sick bed. Luke 8 verse 50. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Mark 10 verse 52. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight, and followed Jesus in the way. To Chronicles 7 verse 14. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Psalm 91 verses 15 to 16. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Malachi 4, verse 2. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. And you will go free, leaping with joy like calves led out to pasture. Psalm 119, verse 50. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. Matthew 9 verse 12. When Jesus heard this, he said, Healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. Matthew 14 verse 14. And Jesus went forth, and saw a great multitude, and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Deuteronomy 7 verse 15. And the Lord will protect you from all sickness. He will not let you suffer from the terrible diseases you knew in Egypt. Matthew 9 verse 28 to 30. They went right into the house where he was staying, and Jesus asked them, Do you believe I can make you see? Yes, Lord. They told him, We do. Then he touched their eyes and said, Because of your faith, it will happen. Then their eyes were opened, and they could see. Psalm 41 verses 2 to 3. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Acts 9 verses 33 to 34. There he found a man named Aeneas, who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years. Aeneas, Peter said to him, Jesus Christ heals you. 
Get up and roll up your mat, immediately Anias got up. Acts 10 verses 37 to 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. Hebrews 11 verse 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. John 10 verse 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Isaiah 53 verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 1 Peter 2 verse 24, he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. To Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. 1 Samuel 12 verse 16 Now therefore stand and see this great thing, which the Lord will do before your eyes. Isaiah 41 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Exodus 15 verse 26, For I am the Lord, who heals you.